Hey guys, iHeartMovies here, and welcome back to Final Fantasy 1. Okay, so we are on the 20th floor of the Whisperwind Cove right now, about to fight the second boss. I'm not even gonna bother pulling off that lap. What have we here? I'm warning you, I'm armed. Eight armed, that is. Oh. This orc gross from Final Fantasy 6 again. Same strategy applies here. Giant's gloves, paste, uh, go and use the Vizera, and Yeah, after this boss, there's actually only two more left in the entire game. There's one boss in the 30th floor and the 40th floor. And after, after that, Final Fantasy 1 will actually be over. We've been it for a really long time, and now it's finally coming to a close, and I'm almost kind of bummed about it. I have to admit, I mean, I'm a little bummed that it's almost over. That's okay, though. It's all good. I had a lot of fun doing this. Though I didn't all sentimental and all that stuff later. <laughs> you know, once we hit the final boss here, I'll be a little more reminiscent and all that stuff. But for right now, let's kill this guy. Just because. Uh, let's see. Let's go ahead and use Foley. Ah, you suck. Nice try. You yeah, you suck. Attack, attack. Chip him fully. And jump him in. Nice. Really, really easy. Again, your Orthros has. So it's 17,000 lives. No, he's dead already. <coughs> yeah, that was extremely easy. Again. And for defeating him, we get the Room Staff. That is a very nice weapon. It's made for white wizards. See, it's very powerful for white wizards and good accuracy. But the reason why it's so good is because it casts Healer Row when used is very, very useful, so I prefer not equipping that and using that for free healing. Alright then guys, so next time on Final Fantasy 1, we will fight the third boss on the 30th floor of the Whisperwind Co. This has been iHeartMovie signing off, guys. Have a nice day. Thanks for watching.